In this tutorial we're going to look at um, basically formatting the Spry menus that we've got on our page. We want to centre the menu and change the background colour so it sort of fits more in with uh, in this particular example the Massage View colour scheme, this lilac to purple colour. Uh, and what we need to do there is change the CSS the cascading style sheets, the styles for the menus. Now these menus are um, special tools that are supplied by Dreamweaver and Dreamweaver also supplies the CSS to format the menus as well and in fact it's all held in at the top here where you see it highlighted you've got this spry menu bar or horizontal.css that's where it's all held and we could in fact uh, have a look at the code for that so if we go on to the actual menu bar and this is the CSS that styles the whole of the menu bar. And there is some explanatory text, so you could go in and change the CSS directly here, um, which I normally do, but for this tutorial we're going to actually look at changing it through the Dreamweaver workspace. So first of all I need to bring up the CSS styles, so I go to Window, click on CSS styles, and then it appears on my right hand side. Uh, and I happen to know the CSS styles that uh, one are going to center the menu and secondly are going to change the background color. To the center the menu we need to go into this style. UL stands for unordered list which is a uh, basically a thing in HTML which is list items uh, which is used for the menus by Dreamweaver. It doesn't really matter uh, but this is the CSS rule, the style for this, this unordered list. Uh, I'm just going to double click. Normal window pops up that we're used to seeing for CSS styling. Uh, the only thing we need to change in here is, is the box styles. The boxes are the size of the menus and also their positioning. First off, this default, this width one, I'm going to actually change it to pixels. And I know roughly, you've got to play with this to see what size it is because with the menus you need to get the width correct and you need to set the margins correctly. Now the margins need to be set to auto so it allows the browser to set the margins and that centers the menu. Uh, and what I actually want is I want every one of them except the top menu, top margin to be auto. The top margin is zero. So we've got zero at the top and the others are set to auto so the browser set it and that should basically center the menu as long as we've got the width correctly. So all I've done is change the width to 400 pixels, PX here, and I've changed the margin so it's zero, auto, auto, auto. So if we apply that, fingers crossed, we should get a centered menu. And you can see that the menu is roughly in the center of the page. Now as you add more items to the menu, in other words the menu gets wider, you have to go back into that rule and change the width. You have to play with the number of pixels um, so that you get it roughly centered again. But that'll do us for the moment. Um, so now what we're going to do is find the rule to change the background color. We've got it centered but we don't have that gray background. We want something that's going to fit in more with the banner and the style of the page. And if I remember correctly, I hope it is, it's this CSS rule. So once again I'm going to double click and what I need to do is change the background color remember how we do that. You click here, I'm going to use the dropper um, and I'm going to look for the colour. I don't want it too dark, I want it slightly lighter than the the header. Let's try that. So apply it. Well maybe it could be a little bit better but I'm going to stick with that. So basically we've changed the uh, centered the menu and we've actually changed where the color is as well. And if you look on your other pages it's in fact the same style because it's one style sheet for the menus. So when you change the styles in the style sheet every menu that uses that style sheet is changed. So do that in um, open up your staff page and do the same thing on your website and then make sure you save everything uh, and then your menus are correct.